The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Earlier in the newscast, we were talking about Buffalo and just how much snow they have seen. Well, here are the numbers for you. It's been historic numbers, historic lake effect snow in western New York, and that obviously includes Buffalo. They've seen over 100 inches of snow since November the 13th. So for the last month and a half, they've seen 101.6 inches of snow. Just to give you some perspective, in Roanoke, we've seen 97.6 inches of snow since February of 2015, i.e. for the last almost eight years, we've seen 97.6 inches of snow. They've seen more than that in about 45 days. Unbelievable amounts of lake effect snow in Buffalo. Getting a little bit of a break right now in western New York, and we are dry here too. Much of the eastern seaboard dry right now, all compliments of an area of high pressure. Now, as we look at tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a beautiful day. We're gonna have a whole lot of sunshine, but Friday, things start to change a touch for us. Clouds are going to increase for us a touch here on Friday, out ahead of our next low pressure system and frontal boundary. A good chance for rain will then push in as we head into New Year's Eve, which of course is Saturday. We're going to have, I think, uh, some off and on showers to dodge on Saturday. I think the rain then uh, tapers off as we head into Saturday night. And then by Sunday, New Year's Day, we're going to have more sunshine to once again enjoy. So it looks like as we look at that holiday weekend, New Year's Eve looks wetter than New Year's Day. I am, however, cautiously optimistic that the amount of rain we see will significantly decrease by around the time we ring in 2023. Please stay tuned to your local weather authority. We'll fine tune that forecast as that draws near. 30 right now in Lynchburg, 32 Roanoke, 28 in Danville, 26 Blacksburg and 27 in Withville. I told you that uh, we're going to certainly be warm here for about the next week to week and a half. And look at the numbers. The forecast high on New Year's Day, the first day of 2023, 64 degrees. The average high on January the 1st is only 48 degrees, so it's going to feel more like Halloween or or Election Day here as we head into New Year's Day. Very, very warm outside, and it's going to stay warm, we think, through about the early part of January. Okay, it looks like for about the next two weeks or so, temperatures are going to be above average. By the middle part of January, there are indications that we're going to cool down again. Speaking of cold, <laughs> December has been oh so cold for all of us. This will give you some perspective as to how cold we've been. The average temperature in Roanoke this month has been 37.7 degrees. That's the coldest December we've had thus far since 2010, when the average temperature was 30.6 degrees. Now, I will tell you that this number you see right here, this 37.7 degrees, is going to go up quite a bit, we think, over the next couple of days as we're going to have a whole lot of warmth around. Tonight, fair, chilly. Overnight lows, 24 to 31. Three-day zone-by-zone forecast. In the NRV, your dry Thursday, Friday. Rain chances go up Saturday. In the highlands, mostly sunny Thursday. Clouds thick in Friday. Pretty cloudy on Saturday. South side, around 60 as we head into Thursday and Friday, dropping into the mid to upper 50s on Saturday. Let's talk Lynchburg, and you're dry here through Friday. Good rain chances late Friday night into Saturday. Sunday, Monday dry, more rain chances later Tuesday into Wednesday and across the Roanoke Valley. We are around 60 degrees Thursday, Friday, middle 50s, briefly Saturday, then middle 60s on Sunday, upper 50s, lower 60s as we head into next week. So overall temperatures uh, really above average here for the foreseeable future. Today we forecast 52, actual high was 54, $10 in the pot, $580 so far raised for the Salvation Army.